Now we have Senator Wyden. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And Chief, welcome. And Chief, I've appreciated our conversations. And thank you also, Chief, for your help in the Eastern Oregon situation with our mills. Chief, Oregonians were telling me last week, everywhere I went, that the shortage of permanent wildland fire positions, if not addressed, is on its way to becoming a four-alarmer. Already in Oregon, there's a 20% vacancy rate in these positions, and Western states are actually trying to borrow firefighters from each other. Chief, that's a recipe for trouble. What's the most important response? Better pay, decent benefits for these courageous firefighters so they can pay their rent and buy groceries. That is not the case today, according to firefighters talking to me. I was told last week, if a firefighter in Oregon has a small family and a modest size roof over their head, it takes four paychecks to make a month's worth of rent. And we already see these help wanted signs offering you know, much better pay in various other positions. Given the billions of dollars the Congress provided in the Bipartisan Infrastructure Act, particularly for forestry, to me, the question from Oregonians is obvious. How is the department going to use that money to fix this shortage of permanent wildland fire positions? Thank you for that question. Um, you know, Senator, if I had the ability to set pay for my firefighters, I would certainly do that. I'm left with trying to implement direction that is given through legislation. And you take the bipartisan infrastructure legislation as an example. We're going to use every tool within that legislation to pay our firefighters more because they are very deserving of it. It's dirty, nasty, hard work. And they do deserve better pay. They deserve better benefits. They deserve better care in terms of mental and, and physical uh, health conditions out there. And so we are implementing the direction and it, it, that's in the BIL uh, legislation, and we are doing it with vigor, to be honest with you, because we know it's needed, and we just so appreciate Congress's ability to pass that bipartisan infrastructure uh, package. What I, I'd say, Chief, and I'm interested in working with you, you saw the letter that I sent yesterday. We're going to really need, I believe, within two weeks, answers to those questions because they go specifically to the sections of the bipartisan infrastructure bill that let us attack this issue. And so is that acceptable, get an answer within two weeks? Absolutely. Great. Next question, Chief, is millions of acres of dead and dying material is piling up on the forest floor. And this material is a magnet for fire. And as you and I have talked about, these fires today aren't your grandfather's fires. They're bigger, they're hotter, they're more powerful. We gotta reduce the backlog. Here's your opportunity to talk to the people of Oregon and I think Senator Heinrich and my colleagues, Senator Cortez Mastow, all of us in the West are seeing the same thing. What's the plan yeah. for significantly in, uh, reducing this enormous backlog yeah. of dead and dying material? What's striking, the chairman, my friend from West Virginia, yeah. you know, talked about deferred maintenance, as, particularly as it relates to quality of life and recreation and all kinds of other very important issues. I'm talking about what we got to do to reduce fire risk, because that dead and dying material is a magnet for it. So tell America what we're doing to reduce the backlog. Thank you. So in response to the bipartisan infrastructure law, we um, created this 10-year strategy to get at this problem with vegetation on the landscape. And in this 10-year strategy, it has three objectives. One, that we're going to treat about 20 million acres of national forest managed lands. We're going to treat an additional 30 million acres of other federal, tribal, and private lands. And then the third one is that we're going to have a maintenance program so that we can go back in, and it depends on the fire interval return, but between 10 to 15 years to treat the areas that we've made this investment in, trying to create those conditions. Now, let's talk about how should we be preparing our community of people to really help us in this vein. 
One is that we need to do it with partners. We can't do it without partners. So we're all in this together. The, the other thing is that if we look at how fires are, are, are taking place on the landscape, they don't really care about jurisdictional boundaries. And so what we have to do is make our treatments at the right scale and at the right pace and it, actually in the right locations. And so we're looking at landscape level treatments because we know that if we treat the, the land at a landscape level, it's going to match the scale of the fires that are taking place there. So our plan is to look at 50 million acres uh, within this time frame uh, to treat in order to make a difference on how that fire is behaving across the, particularly the West. In, in the letter I sent you yesterday as we talked, the two big areas are the shortage of firefighters and treatment of the backlog. If we can get at those two in a meaningful way, we can send a message to the West this year that we're really getting tangible progress with respect to fire risk, but we've got to do it. I'll look forward to your response within those two weeks. Again, thank you for working with me and look forward to, uh, to doing it frequently. Thank you, Senator. Senator Lee.